What's up guys? Today, uh, I'm on my own in the garage. Uh, I just used my Hyundai trailer hitch idea to pull the truck out of the garage. Worked great. Uh, putting it in, that's a whole different thing, but I got it out. Um, I have a little bit of free time. I want to try to get the engine out of the truck finally, like I've been talking about. That way we can get the Allison mounted onto the back of the Cummins. Uh, I know I'm going to need some different bolts to do the transmission adapter. And um, also I'm filming on a new camera. Um, I, I know some of the people that follow my Instagram are going to notice. Uh, hopefully there's a lot better quality to this. Uh, I got a really nice, uh, my, well actually my wife bought me a really nice Canon uh, power shot the uh, G7X um, Mark III. Uh, super nice camera, got a microphone on it, so hopefully it cleans up the sound a little bit. But uh, I am going to try to step up the quality of the videos a tiny bit, um, especially now that I'm picking up a couple subscribers. Just try to try to do things a little bit better. Um, but while I have some free time today, uh, big thing is I'd like to try to get the, the engine transmission back out of the truck again. Um, on my own and get the truck back in the garage. That way we can get the Allison on there and start doing whatever modifications we're gonna have to do to the firewall to get everything to fit. Um, I just need to get this step over with. Um, that way we can get everything mounted up the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I can bring my welder home, we can weld the transmission tunnel. Uh, just a lot of reasons uh, this, this part has to happen. It's never fun pulling an engine transmission back out, um, especially after you just got it in there. Um, but we really need to do this now, and the engine's gonna have to come back out again anyways, because I do want to paint it, I do want to powder coat it. Um, I, I want to try to get it cleaned up as much as I possibly can uh, to make it look as good as possible. Um, so I'm probably gonna set up a time lapse for trying to pull the engine out. I, I don't think anybody wants watch <laughs> how long it takes me to actually take an engine out on my own. Um, so I'm gonna get the camera set up and we'll go ahead and start getting the engine back out of there. All right, so we just hit our first kind of minor snag. Um, as you can see, got the engine out. A lot of work for just one guy to do. Um, pretty much already kind of burnt out at this point. Um, but let me show you what I'm working with. Um, when I was going to put the transmission adapter plate on, um, we're rubbing, and let me bring the camera around here. Uh, if you can see, right, focus right about there you can see where it's rubbed that off i'm probably going to need to take a flapper wheel and just kind of take that down a tiny bit uh, they said there could be some things where you know you had to use maybe a flapper wheel to clean it up i, I wanted to say it was more or less on the starter um, but it looks like we're going to just need to shave that down a little bit right there um, and maybe when i put the starter on i may have to actually cut like that off i'm not 100 percent sure yet um, we'll just kind of get there when we get there um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at at the moment is I was trying to get the plate on there and wasn't able to because it kept rubbing on that little spot. Uh, I'm probably going to break out the flapper wheel real quick, just see if I can get the plate on tonight before I start pushing everything to the side of the garage. Um, that way, you know, I can bring the truck back in tonight. I'm not really planning on, um, putting the engine back in and I still need to get the bolts for the Allison transmission because the ones I have are slightly too long. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, break out the flapper, clean that up a little bit and see, uh, if we can get at least get the plate back on there tonight. That way we can put everything up and have the plate on there.
All right, guys, end of the night. Um, got the truck back in the garage. There it is. Um, the Hyundai worked great pushing it back in the garage. Um, we managed to get the engine also put in. Um, yeah, things are getting a little bit tight in here. Um, if you look, uh, we still do have space to walk, which is nice, but uh, it's definitely a lot tighter than it was before. Um, over here on the back side of the engine, we got the plate on there, um, so hopefully we can get the shorter bolts. Um, but all in all, it was a pretty good night. Um, I only had a couple hours to do this. Uh, I think I started about six, and I want to say it's about eight now. Um, so I feel like I'm pretty accomplished pulling the engine out, getting the transmission off, getting the adapter plate on, and getting the truck back in the garage. Uh, I'm gonna say that's a really successful night for you know me in just a couple hours. Uh, so next big thing tomorrow, hopefully, if I get a chance, I'm gonna try to run to uh, Home Depot or uh, Ace Hardware, somewhere where I can find the bolts, um, get the correct bolts for it, and then hopefully we can uh, get the transmission mounted on there and also start cutting the firewall. Um, as you can see over my shoulder, um, we're gonna have to do a little finessing to get it where it needs to be to put the Allison in there. So, uh, like usual, I appreciate everybody watching. Um, welcome all the new people to the channel. Uh, we have jumped up to about 115 now. Um, way better than I ever thought I was gonna do. Uh, my biggest thing is I just wanna consistently put out videos, uh, try to make the quality better, but mostly just put out a consistent video. Um, hopefully, maybe y'all can get something from this. I don't know if it's exactly a learning channel because I don't really go way too in depth on this stuff because every application is different. So me showing you my application may not be the same as your application. Um, but again, I appreciate everybody watching. Like and subscribe to the videos if you're new to the channel. Um, if you have any comments, comment below. I don't get a lot of comments, so I can pretty much answer back to anything. But most of all, y'all guys have a good night.